Welcome to the latest from Force 13 on Tropical Cyclone Kenneth. Currently on the screen is a satellite view of Kenneth and Lorna to the east over in the South Indian Ocean region. The Kenneth 11 decimal 3 degrees south, 42 decimal 7 degrees east, maximum winds 115 knots and minimum central pressure is 937 millibars. And this is the latest from the Matteo France La Reunion. They have uh, maximum sustained winds 195 miles an hour, gusting to 80 kilometres an hour. Apology if I have a slight error in this information. They have a minimum central pressure at 950, but it is a lot lower. And here's their current track chart on a cyclone that has undergone rapid intensification. The Joy Typhoon a Warning Centre has the uh, cyclone or 24S located near 11 decimal 3 degrees south, 42 decimal 7 degrees east and maximum sustained winds 115 knots gusting 140 knots. And it's currently located at 44 nautical miles northwest of the Comoros Island and has tracked westward at 6 knots over the last 6 hours. And on the screen is the life of the cyclone up to earlier today. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery reveals the persistent pinhole eye, strong convection surrounding the eye wall. The initial position is based with high confidence on the eye in the infrared imagery. And the initial intensity of 115 knots is based on a automated VORAC technique, estimate of T6, 115 knots. The cyclone is experiencing low to moderate 15 to 20 knot vertical wind shear, warm 29-30 Celsius sea surface temperature, well defined westward and poleward outflow, supportive for further intensification in the near term. For the duration of the forecast, the cyclone will track along the northern periphery of the subtropical ridge to the south and it's expected to begin slowly weakening as it begins to feel frictional effects from land and divergence that off weakens. The current forecast has the cyclone dissipating over land after 48 hours, however, due to the flat terrain of northern Mozambique and continued low vertical wind shear may allow the circulation to remain organised over land. A mid-latitude trough will pass by to the south, causing the current dominant steering ridge to reorient and allow another steering ridge to build in from the southwest. And bringing low levels southerly to southeasterly flow, that may push the remnants of the cyclone back over water around the 96 to 120 hour mark. Numical model guidance is in excellent agreement in the near term, leading high confidence to the centre's forecast track guidance. However, 
after the forecast period or the later stage it diverges significantly with some models looping then recurving the cyclone to the northeast and re-emerging over water some models move the cyclone northward but remaining over land the UK Met and another model have a turning to the south back over water and again we see a complex steering system in place for another cyclone here's a look at a couple of the models the joy typhoon warning center's current track on kenneth we will continue to bring the latest uh, information and please uh, continue to monitor the facebook and the youtube channel and total precipitable water the scale is on the right hand side of the screen you can clearly see Kenneth and Lorna over there in the South Indian Ocean and here's a look at the GFS accumulated precipitation model for the region you can follow Force 13's outlets the website force13.com our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13 on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.